Hi guys, back again with a new video for you here. So, last week I went to Disneyland Paris for the week. On the way back we picked up a couple of pops. While I was there I picked one up, which will be in my next video, so keep an eye out for that one. Um, but we went into Asda in Eastbourne on the south coast of England on the way home. And I thought, right, well we'll have a look in there. I don't know if it was one of the shop stores that was getting exclusives from Infinity War, like the Iron Spider with the extra legs, uh, or the Glow in the Dark Black Panther. So I thought, we'll have a look, see what we've got there. My wife went off, had a look at the clothes, and as I turned away from her, I noticed on the end of an aisle, big standy, um, if you follow me on Instagram, at Nathan's Pop Punt, whichever way it comes up, you'll have seen there I put a picture of the stand that was on the end of the aisles. Uh, so each Marvel Pop at the moment in Asda is £8. So they're reduced from 9 97 I think the exclusives were up around £15 as well. They didn't have any of the Iron Spiders, but they did have a couple that I did like the look of. And I bought. So first and foremost, we will go with the man himself, Thanos. So this, as you can tell, without all the reflections, that way, is a massive pop. Takes up pretty much the whole box. When you compare him, say... Tigger, he is absolutely enormous. He's got to be at least five inches. I haven't actually given him a measure, but when you compare him up against Giant Man and Hulk Buster, it's huge, absolutely immense. Um, so to get this for eight pound, really, really happy with. Um, what we'll do is we'll get him out of the box. Cause there's quite a nice little bit of detail on there. Um, well, I'll show you the box because it is in very good nick. There is nothing wrong with it whatsoever, considering it's been through all of their postage and shipping and whatnot. It's in really, really good condition, so I'm really happy with that. And all of them really were. Any of the ones that I picked out and had a look at, they had some Iron Man, uh, Thor, Captain America, the, the whole range, basically, from Infinity War, except the Iron Spider exclusive. Um, but yeah, they were all in brilliant shape, so really, really kind of good work, has to. Um so yeah, let's pop him out the box. Pop. <laughs> pop him out the box and let you take him. So there he is. Really, really cool pop. Like I say, he is enormous. I think the head's probably twice the size of what a normal pop is. Um, but he's obviously got the Infinity Gauntlet on there with all the stones inside. Really nice little detail on there as well. I don't know if you can make that out, whether it will focus or not. Um, but yeah, and he's got all the, all the little kind of details on the on the suit as well, on his armour, there's like wrinkles on his arms, so he's really, really well detailed, and of course, being a Marvel, he is a bobblehead, as you can tell, so he's really cool, really like the, the face on him, he's kind of definitely a bit evil, um, we'll pop him back there for the moment, in the box as well, you get your backing card, so you've got the Avengers logo from Infinity War, Really, really cool touch on that. I think I mentioned it in the Thor video as well. There was one in there. Very, very nice. I really like that because if you do keep them kind of front on, I don't obviously, but I might do at some point. You can, you've got something in the background there as a, as an extra little detail, so it's not just plain cardboard. So the next one I picked up was Black Panther. So this one, of course, as you can see, is the Glow in the Dark exclusive. So, he's all blue. They do a purple one as well, which I don't know. I don't think has to do, but they do kind of elsewhere. But again, £8 for this exclusive when it was originally coming out at 14 99 I think it was, when they first came on. So, again, the box is in lovely condition. Um, there's not a, a single thing wrong with it. After getting this, again, if you follow me on Instagram, at Nathan's Pop Hunt, You'll have seen I've already taken a picture of this out in the grass because when we came back from holiday, the grass was a little bit long. So I thought, perfect opportunity. So yeah, now, to be honest with you, I would like the, the glow-in-the-dark Killmonger to go with him. That's an awesome looking pop as well. Having them both side-by-side -side glowing would be quite cool. Uh, one thing I have noticed, I have put it in the windowsill and I've put him alongside Thor, which is actually in the windowsill at the moment. The UV from the sun where I live doesn't seem to be particularly great, so I can't get great images off them, and it doesn't 
it takes a little while for the glow to show up at night, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I had the same issue with my Green Ranger. It wasn't a particularly strong glow. Um, that one I have since sold. He is no longer on the shelf. I have but two Green Rangers. Um, but let's get Black Panther out. We'll let you have a look around there. Again, loads of detail and little kind of symbols and things like that on there. So we'll check that out. So again, Marvel Bobblehead. Only thing I've found with this one is the neck is a little bit higher. I don't know whether that's something to do with the spring, whether I can kind of amend that in any way, shape or form, maybe kind of wind it down a bit. But where he sits, if I'm going to put him up on the top shelf, if I'm sat down, I've got a chair right here. If I put him down there, I'm going to be able to see the spring because he's going to be kind of sat like that. So a little bit disappointing. Um, obviously in the box, it's kind of difficult to tell. You don't know until you get it out. Um, but again, you've got all of this little blue stuff on here. I believe all glows in the dark. Um, again, I've not really had enough kind of a UV on it. I don't really fancy buying a UV torch just for, for this. Um, but again, you can see all in the light there, in the, all the little markings and all the the little detail on the, the helmet and the mask. And it's just a really, really nice little pop. I kind of stayed away. I wasn't really too keen on going for a Black Panther one because a lot of them are just a little bit strange in my eyes. Like the um, the Killmonger with the, the tribal mask. I really like the Chase version. But again, it's a Chase version. It's very expensive. Um, and some of them, like the one with his eyes are visible. You can see through. I know they did it in the film, but even then it looked a bit weird, if you ask me. Um, but... I can't argue with the price on this one. And it's such a nice little pop. I haven't seen it in kind of life. I've only seen pictures. And it's just beautiful. So that's my two pops that I got in Asda on the way home. When I got home, there was a little Royal Mail card on, on the floor in the, the hallway. It said, we've left a delivery with you, uh, for you with your neighbour. So I thought, ooh. I think I know what that is. I go around to my neighbours. I pick out the little box. It's about the same size as a pop. It's not slightly bigger. So I ended up picking this up immediately. I think it got posted. It arrived on the Monday. But I didn't get back until the Saturday. Um, but it's another Marvel pop. So another bobblehead. And it's Golden Groot. <laughs> So, the shine on this is beautiful. I really, I mean, I've got the standard group, which is now, there you go, yeah, it's not that hidden. Um, but I've got the standard group. It's cool. If you watch my first video where I went through my collection, my wife shook him a bit too hard when I first got him out of the box, and his head's on slightly wonky. So I don't know if you can tell if he stops. It leans slightly to the left. Um, so that's one thing to do don't give pops to people that are bobbleheads that will immediately go <laughs> because that was actually the noise my wife made she was like oh, bobblehead <laughs> yeah, I don't know. but this one of course is a bobblehead as well um, I'm not going to take this one out of the box for you because I haven't got gloves on because of the chrome and the shine on this one the second I touch this, I know that I'm going to get grubby little paw prints all over it. So that's not going to be the, sa the case with this one. Um, I will take it out of the box. I think I have put some pictures on Instagram already, or I've got some pictures to put on Instagram at least. Um, so I've had him out of the box, but I had kind of light gloves on. Um, but I put him back in just for this, this reveal. Um, so yeah, so again, really, really nicely boxed. There is a, a slight tear on the top there. Um, I've recently had a chat with someone who does say that a lot of the pop in the box stuff does come up damaged when they've ordered it. I've not had that experience. I ordered a box of damaged pops. <laughs> so, well, I got three pops and a vinyl idols. All of the, um, the vinyl idols was perfect. Um, one of the pops had a very similar kind of tear on it. Um, and the other two were pretty destroyed. But this is the first one I've had from him. I got Hulkbuster, 
White Ranger, and I think I got one of the other Power Rangers. No, sorry, sorry, Batman, sorry. Um, so I got those from Pop in a Box, and wasn't really any issue with any of those either. Um, so this is the first instance I've had. Um, but you've got the full range on the back. Um, obviously there is a Star Lord as well, um, which is an exclusive. I think it can be bought over here. Um, I think I've seen double boxed toys have got hold of them. Um, or they had a couple at least. Um, but you've got Iron Man, Loki, is that Captain America? Captain America group, Hulk, Black Widow 4, Gamora, Black Panther and Ant-Man. Now in all honesty, I think the Black Panther is in a similar pose to what this one is. So I might look at getting that. But I've also got Loki and Thor on pre-order as well. Um, Pop in a Box a while back sent out an email with a release schedule for where they were getting stock in. Because I think they had a few people chase them up. Because um, I know they have had issues with stockists. I'm still waiting on my Megazord that was supposed to be here in July. So I've had quite a, quite a good week of it. Three Marvel Pops in the space of 12 hours. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with it. I've got to get rid of a few. There's going to be, be some changes in the collection. Um, I think I might put up a, a whole new collection video just as a kind of update to where I am almost two months down the line um, since I started the channel. But yeah, that's, that's what we've got for today. Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you're new, which most people are because I've only got three subscribers <laughs> at the moment, please subscribe to the videos. Um, if you've liked what I've got here, if you want to see what I've got coming up next, which is, like I say, the pop I got while I was at Disneyland. And I've also got a couple more that I'm looking at on Facebook, so they may be coming soon as well. Um, I'll probably give you an update in the next video on that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching again. I really appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Both of them at Nathan's Pop Hunt. And yeah, keep collecting what you like. I know a lot of people say that, but if you don't collect what you like, what's the point? Have a great day. We'll speak to you soon.